This is how to prepare an improvised face mask using a cotton t-shirt and a roll of paper towels, unscented preferably. Uh, to make this, the first thing we do is that we, uh, we want to make a fold uh, right here where the, uh, where the arms are coming to their, uh, on the bottom part of it. So all we wanna do is we wanna fold that over like that, and then we wanna lay that down flat uh, on the table like this. Um, this is essentially gonna be the top part uh, where, over our face. Uh, this is where our mouth will go, and this is what we're gonna use to tie it off. So uh, one of the issues of a face max is that it can be kind of, uh, become kind of damp around the mouth. So one of the solutions that you can do is you can use a paper towel like this, and uh, you can take like two sheets, and then you can uh, fold that over and place this. Essentially what, what we're doing by putting this here is we're putting it where our nose is gonna be as well as where our mouth is going to be. Um, that's to, to avoid the, the dampness. Uh, now that we uh, have prepared this, uh, so it's just it's a simple matter of uh, placing on the face and tying it off, which I will show now. Now we have our t-shirt with our paper towel that's going to uh, trap the moisture around the mouth. So all we have to do now is just to uh, place that on the face and tie it off securely. So this is how we do that. Uh, we, bring, we hold it with our thumbs like that on the paper towel. We uh, bring that up to our to the bridge of our nose, uh, like that. And now we're gonna take the, pull it, stretch it tight, and take the arms and wrap it around uh, behind you. And then you wanna effectively tie it off, uh, just like this, where you give it a, a quick tie, and then you pull it tight. Now, uh, you can do a little, make a little bit of an adjustment like that. Uh, and then you probably, it's a good idea as well, you wanna tie it a second time, make a knot and that way you uh it'll be better secured so if need be you can adjust the paper towel that's sitting on your mouth uh and that will help you to, to improve its position to attract moisture essentially what we want to do we want to avoid getting this area wet oh, this is not a good idea so that's why you want to keep it dry what you can do after that uh, to enhance your uh, protection just have some, gl some glasses, some goggles. Ideally, the goggles should be non-fog. And the reason why is that it, uh, your breath will come up and it'll start to fog it up. But the advantage of the, the goggles is that they will block the infective uh, particles, droplets, from coming onto your eyes. So you just put that on. And then you put on gloves, you got gloves. But what's more important than putting on gloves is uh, washing your hands. Always washing your hands, very important. And then also social distancing. It's important to maintain your distance and stay at home. You're only gonna be good needing to go out for essentials. Do not leave home, stay there. Anybody coming into your home, for whatever reason, or coming to your door, oblige them to wear a mask, especially for vulnerable populations. They have to wear a mask in the home. And the reason why is that those people can be asymptomatic carriers. They could be actually carrying the, the virus. So by obliging them to, to wear a mask, it holds the virus droplets inside of the mask, running, spreading away. That's how this works. I, I could be a carrier, not know it, and by uh, having this mask, I'm blocking the, the, the virus droplets from going away from me. That's what we want to do. But wait, there's more. So let's say you're coming back to your safe zone, either your home or your work, or the place where you're, uh, you're able to, uh, to have a, a isolation. Uh, what you want to do is you have to treat this mask a certain way. It's potentially uh, contaminated with viral particles on the face of the mask. So you do not want to touch the face of the mask at all. You do not want to touch anywhere on your face, uh, your eyes, none of that stuff. So what you want to do is you want to reach back and you want to un untie the mask, pull it off, and then uh, fold it in front of you like that. Um, that way you're, you'll be able to keep the viral particles on the interior folded side. Um, this right here, again, you could potentially be a, a, a carrier of the virus. 
that you want to place this directly in the trash. Do not set this on a table. Do not set this on any surface. Immediately into the trash uh, so that you don't contaminate other services in your area. Same with the shirt. Do not set that down on a table or, or somewhere else. Uh, you want to put that straight in, uh, into a pot of boiling water uh, where you can boil it for 20 or 30 minutes or place it into a sack, something like perfectly like a plastic sack that you can seal. Uh, that way you can keep the contamination apart. Once you've done that, this is very, very important, right? You've not touched into your face. You've not done anything. You've, you've set this isolated. This is super important. You immediately go wash your hands. Immediately wash your hands and wash them very, very effectively. Uh, it's important that you do that because your hands are almost certainly contaminated from having handled the face mask. So by washing your hands, you're limiting that contamination uh, from potentially spreading away uh, from your hands that got con contaminated from handling the mask. Uh, and putting it aside. So uh, that's with those, uh, keeping those in mind uh, and being able to uh, wash the clothes uh, also, that you'll be able to, uh, without, without touching anything else, you'll be able to limit the contamination, potential contamination from the virus. Uh, it's a good, th good, these are good steps to take that's going to help us block the spread of the virus. Uh, we don't want to spread the virus. So we, this, if you do this, help be a part of this, by, by behaving this way, you will help limit the, the spread of the virus and we'll be able to get back to our normal life quicker. So thank you for watching this video. Please share with others, that, uh, especially others that are uh, have members of their families or friends that are part of the vulnerable, uh, vulnerable populations, aged people or people that are, have health conditions. Um, those people, uh, their households, anybody coming even to the door or anybody coming that's, that's not Part of the household is coming into it, not a regular part of the household. Those people have to wear a mask. It must be a house rule. You must absolutely block nobody, nobody coming into that space without a face mask. Uh, that way you will limit the potential of having a vulnerable person become sick and die. So house rule, anybody come in the house, you may come to the door, face mask, have to have a face mask. Alrighty. Thank you for watching this again, share this and uh, thank you for being a part of the solution. See you.